Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. If it wasn't working, I'ma work it out, 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 yeah. I keep on going till the lights go down, yeah. Till the lights go. What's up, guys? Welcome to the video, and welcome to my Saturday, aka the countdown until UFC. 247 Johnny Bones Jones versus Dominic the Devastator Reyes. I'm just a little bit on this. Alright, super stoked. Super duper stoked. I cannot wait, man. I feel like tonight in Houston, Texas may finally be the night that Johnny Jones Bones gets knocked off his throne. <laughs> Probably not, but I think there's a little bit of a possibility. Dominic Reyes is undefeated as well. I'm a fan of the dude. He's exciting. He's got some amazing kicks, some power in his left hand. And it is 6, almost 6.30 right now. I think the prelims start at 8. So, like I said, the countdown is on. But obviously, the majority of you guys probably aren't watching this video to hear about UFC 247. So, let's get down to business. We got about at least an hour and a half to kill. So, since I got a little bit of time to kill, and as you guys can tell, I'm already on the road, I actually headed to, surprise, surprise, Ross. But this one's a different Ross, kind of a new Ross. I think I've been here like once or twice. It's in, I think, Deltona or Orange City or somewhere over there. There's actually two, so I'm gonna hit both of them up. The reason I'm going there in the first place is I have like four, I think four pairs of shoes I gotta return to Ross and one pair that I got to return to a Burlington somewhere. So hopefully there's a Burlington around there as well. If not, it's all good because there's a Burlington right by my casa. I think it kind of goes without saying at this point, but obviously I'm gonna have to check out both of the Rosses to see what kind of goods they have. Cause there's always that little chance that X might mark the spot inside one of those Rosses and there will be all kinds of treasure. So, like I always say, you never know if you don't go. I wish someone would just give me a treasure map so I could find that X, find where that spot's at, and go snag the treasure chest all for myself. But in the meantime, we'll keep checking them out and hope for the best. Aside from the Ross adventure, I also brought my Postmates and my DoorDash hot bags or whatever they're called with me. So the game plan is, first things first, hit up one of those Rosses, return the shoes, and then probably log into definitely Postmates, maybe see if there's a DoorDash shift going on in that Deltona area. If not, we might even log on to Uber Eats, maybe check out Instacart On Demand. I don't know, man, we shall see. But like I said, I got the bags, I got all my cards, so I'm prepared and ready to go. Ross stop number one. Hopefully the audio in this video is a lot better than the last one because uh, if you guys didn't watch it, it was rough. All right, guys, let's make this quick and to the point. I actually grabbed a cart this time because I thought I was going to have a giant haul. It's feeling pretty good about it. I went down the line real quick, checked out what they had, grabbed a couple, then realized I was probably going to need a cart. So now we're here. But you may notice the cart's looking pretty empty. That is because... These guys are unfortunately the outcasts. We have the Metcon 3s, which I've already bought and returned two pairs of these, but this one was an interesting looking like green volt colorway. So I thought maybe it would sell for more. I was wrong. We got some Jordan running shoes. I've seen different colorways of these. This looks like a NYX colorway. And Ross wants $54.99. That is about what they sell for on eBay. Next up, we got the Nike SB Air Force 2s. Size nine and a half for $36.99. And these guys sell for right around 50 something, give or take. So another one bites the dust. Then we got the Lunar Epic Flyknit 2s, which I have sold a couple pairs of these. I've never seen this colorway. I found it in the women's section. I thought maybe it was just like a tiny pair, like a five or something. Turns out it's kid's shoes. So uh, only $39.99. The other ones are usually $49.99, but either way, these ones are going back too. And then last but not least, what are those? The Air Force 270s in this interesting orange and yellowish, pinkish, bolt greenish colorway. I've seen a ton of these 
in all kinds of colorways for whatever odd reason none of them seem to resell good at all so i've never picked one up and that price tag of 74.99 definitely doesn't help comparable value 120 i'm willing to guess these probably cost quite a bit more than that when they're at retail but yeah i don't know they're interesting looking shoes got the giant bubble right here it seems like they'd be popular and it seems like they'd be a good find but not so much so that leaves us with these guys we got the green and white unfortunately spartan cutaway kobe's not the most ideal size in the world 16 and i feel kind of weird honestly about buying and selling kobe's after the uh whole helicopter tragedy but i'm definitely not one of those types of people that's gonna throw these guys on ebay and jack up the price to like 300 bucks or something my rule of thumb with kobe's at least now after the tragedy is some for retail or less if you sell these guys too cheap chances are someone else is going to snag them off ebay then they're going to relist them and jack the price way up which honestly i think is morally wrong and absolutely terrible to make a huge profit off of a tragedy so uh yeah my rule of thumb for any kobe's that i find going forward is list them for retail or less and then there was one and last but not least is the tiny pair of hyperdunk Yao breast cancer awareness editions not sure what year these hyperdunks are i actually saw a pair of these the other day at the ross right across from my place and i was going to pick them up but i was so strapped for time so i left them behind hoping they'd be there when i returned i came back like an hour or so later and they pulled a houdini and they were gone so all these guys were the potential finds at least for this ross and these are the two for sure but real quick this is the rest of the lineup we got a giant pair of white and black lebron soldier 11s another giant pair i think they're both 18 of orange and white soldier 11s i've actually never seen that colorway i was pretty hyped when i saw it to be honest but i had a bad feeling it was going to be a giant size if it was 16 or below i definitely would have snagged it what else we have another another one pair of lebron soldier 11s in a colorway i've never seen the cream sicola edition size 17 man if only it were a 16 and then we got the white and blacks which i bought before they don't resell for too much and what do you know these ones are giant size as well last but not least at least in the giant section is these gray and white or silver and white kobe ad's but unfortunately they're also a size 18 so leaving those dudes behind as well and that my dudes is honestly about it except for saw a pair of lebrons over here somewhere where you hiding lebron where you hiding right here i believe number 23 lebron james there's a little lebron logo right there and uh yeah what do you guys think about these let me know down below nice little stain right there pretty sure i've seen these before i looked them up and they resell for uh We'll check it out again anyway, so. Well, just as I suspected, that answers that question. So sorry, LeBron, going back home. Or going back to the shelf. And we just got another donation for the Boys and Girls Club, Woohoo! And there we go. One Ross done, and one Ross to go. So, what do you guys say, uh, all right, where's my car? Yoda? Yoda? Oh, Yoda. Marco? Polo? Marco, 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 Yoda, you're supposed to say polo, what the heck man, you make me look dumb in front of my YouTube friends, oh, oh, let's try this, baby, Yoda, wait, you guys hear something, baby, Yoda, you guys hear that, baby, baby, Yoda, ah, hey, there's Yoda, all right, so I found Yoda, and what do you know? I also found another Ross. Here we go, guys. I feel like I'm entering the final frontier. Bum, bum, bum. All right, guys, here we go for Ross number two. As you can see, I also grabbed a cart at this one, so we're two for two with carts, which is usually a good sign, because if I grab a cart, that means there's definitely, or hopefully, enough potential finds to fill this dude. But as you'll notice now, it's a little bit on the empty side. So we got two categories, the no's and the yeses, and then the probably's. Actually, I think both these two are yeses too. So we'll go ahead and start out 
with yes number one we got the lebron soldier 12s in a pretty sweet colorway i've never seen before it says witness in the back definitely digging these the only bad thing is it's a size 16 but like i've said in a couple of my videos i've had pretty good luck with 16 and under 16 and over is where it starts getting a little bit on the froggy side there you go 39.99 comparable value 98 the only other bad thing about these is there's quite a few spots are a little bit dirty like right there what else we got you can see right here. I think there might be a couple other ones, but I have pretty good shoe cleaner at home. It does a really good job of getting little stains and marks off white shoes. There's another one right there. So hopefully they'll do the trick. If not, it is what it is. I'll return them and we will move on with our life. All right, find number two. You guys should recognize these because we grabbed a pair at the last Ross. Some more Kobe ADs, except this time we're rocking the Tennessee Volunteer colorway. Go balls. I like this one. I haven't seen this colorway yet before. The only bad thing is, once again, all right, it doesn't have a sticker in there, but it is a size 16. I think the last one was 16 too, right? Or 15, 16, 15, what? The surprising thing with both of these, I said this one's a little bit dirty, but if you guys watch my shoe hunt videos, you know how I feel about white shoes at Ross. Usually, let's just say it's pretty much the opposite of a match made in heaven. Usually, uh, my friend, Mr. Grumpy Cat, always likes to make an appearance. Thankfully, looks like he missed these ones. Maybe he's taking a cat nap or something, who knows? But I'm digging it. Moving on to good finds number, what is this, three? These dudes should look familiar. I bought quite a few pair of these. And the good thing is, there is not a single other pair of seven on eBay, which means no competition. That's what I'm talking about. I looked these dudes over as well real quick, because yeah, I always gotta look over the white shoes at Ross super close and it looks like there is a couple maybe marks here and there but like i said i got some pretty solid shoe cleaner at home that should be able to get them looking brand spanking new in no time so add these dudes to the yes cart and last but not least we got the under armor bryce harper american flag baseball cleats i'm not a baseball fan but these things look pretty sweet in my opinion there's only two other pairs on eBay at the moment, and both of them are size 16. Now, aside from those other shoes that are all giant, aside from the pink and white LeBrons, these ones are size 10, which is definitely a pretty solid size to resell. So like I said, there's only two online, no size 10s, which once again means no competition, which means yes pile. Now, unfortunately, on to the ones that didn't make the cut, and we gotta leave them behind. I gotta say though, this colorway is pretty dang sweet, and if it was in my size, I would definitely snag these for the collection, but they're size 14, and they are, I think they're free run planets. Yeah, free run planets. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, like I mentioned in other videos, all these Nike running shoe flynets used to resell really well, but then the floodgates opened, and Ross and eBay got completely flooded with them, so they don't really resell for much anymore these days. And these guys, we got tiny pair of Kyrie number one in the Oreo colorway, tiny pair of Kyrie's number two in the Chicago Blackhawks colorway, and then some type of LeBron's, and once again, a Chicago Blackhawks colorway. Couldn't find a single pair of these guys or these guys on eBay. And these guys, Ross wants $39.99. I think they were listed on eBay for like 50, so definitely not worth the resell. As for team winner over here, not sure if I went over the price tag, so let's go ahead and cover that real quick. The Bryce Harper football cleats, where are you at price tag? Where are you at, man? You hiding with Yoda? $19.99, comparable value 77. The LeBron, what I say, Soldier 12s. I think I already showed this one. $39.99, comparable value 98. The Kobe's should be 56, if I'd guess. Oh, no, my bad. $44.99, that's what I'm talking about. Comparable value, 90. And then, last but not least, the LeBron Soldier 11 K Yows, $54.99. Comparable value, all kinds of stars. Now, aside from what I just showed you guys, the rest of the lineup looks something like this, kind of like the last one. We got some more giant Tennessee Volunteer colored Soldier 11s, size 18, I believe. Some all green Soldier 11s, also an 18. The white and purple Soldier 11s, I think these ones are like 14 and a half or some odd size like that. Nope, my bad. 16 and a half. Didn't quite make this size 16 cut. I think that's about it. Oh, what do you know? We actually have some more Kobe's hiding down here. I didn't even see these guys. The navy blue colorway, $44.99. Comparable value, once again, 90 bucks. Let's see if that size takes right. Yeah, size 17. Dang it. If only there were 16 or below, I'd definitely snag these as well. Oh well. We got a nice little haul, I'd say. 
Round two, ding, ding, ding. And another one gone, and another one gone, and another one bites the dust. Bada bing, bada boom. Pretty decent haul at Ross number two, I'd say. A lot better than I expected. Honestly, I haven't been out this way in a while, and it's not really that far. So, I'm gonna start checking out these two dudes a little more often. Anywho, we hit two Ross stores in the Deltona, Orange City area of Florida. Overall, I'd say, went pretty good a lot better than the last few ross runs i've done that's for sure anyways the time is 8 29 and me and the fan back at home are starving so i think it's homeward bound 30 we'll head that way i'm gonna grab some grub get a little something something for myself maybe take it to go because one of the goals of this video was to at least do one delivery preferably with postmates because they were f***ing with me the other night and I'm trying to get back at them. So, uh, first things first, let's go get some grub and then we'll see what's up. That's all, folks. Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need. You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed. Those knots, they got you. Make believe those 